Welcome back. Are you ready for us? Because we are super excited to be talking about things that are going on on social media. I think this is my favorite part of the show because I get to talk about all the things I want to talk about in a good way. Mind you, in a very good way, but Quincy is always opposing my views. Anyways, that's our not, first thing. That's not a fact. It is, isn't it? That is not a fact, it is guys. It is a what? It's a guarantee. Speculation. It's <laughs> a speculation. I'm sure they watch the show every Thursday. They see how we are always almost at loggerheads with one another. So, yeah, they know. The only point where it appears that we might be at loggerheads is when we try to bump our heads together in solidarity. Why would we <laughs> bump our unism. heads in solidarity? And unism. <laughs> Forget about what you just said, guys. All right, so our first story today, Regina Daniels denies using Jaroma Karamata to wed Ned Woko. If you've been following this story on social media, I think for the past two to three days, oh uh, yeah, over, over my 48 hours, let me use the term, 444 days. For, over the past 48 hours, a couple of um, conversations have been going down on social media about, oh, um, she helped me market my goods, oh, she's doing this, oh, she did this to get Ned Woko, oh, now the other woman has finally gone. <laughs> The conversation is just a whole lot. But I think Regina Daniels came out to say that she never and has never used Kayamata. Because now on social media, everyone is selling some kind of products that, you know, they'll probably help you grab and keep a man and all that kind of stuff. Have you been in that situation, Quincy? Where I was grabbed and kept? Yes. <laughs> Obviously I... not kept, but I mean, grabbed. Was I kept against my will? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> Was I kept with the use of that? I wouldn't know. Mm. Yeah, but I mean, this whole story is just weird. Because yeah. one, you can't even ask the guy, is it true that she used it? Because you're not going to know now. <laughs> Do you understand? And then you, you can't ask know. the lady if she did or she didn't. But uh -huh. for what is worse, they look happy. So, I mean, Let's leave them to it's all right, isn't it? Yeah, but another angle to this conversation is the reason, the, why do, why would an influencer, someone who has a large following, someone who you know that people are looking up to you or looking at your page, be talking about products that you don't even use just for market, marketing sakes because they've paid you? I think that you owe it to your, your that, followers. I love this twist. Yeah, I, you owe on. it to your followers, or you, love it. you owe it to your followers to post things that you are confident in. That you've used and you're sure that works not just because they pay you some billion dollars which is very tempting by the way to be honest but i mean to promote exactly makes sense now the the twist what you just said that i love the most is this is either you're using the product or you're not because mm. for you to advertise the product that means you must have at least gotten a certain number of the products in abundance mm -hmm. for usage exactly. i mean if a drink company sign you the you product. get a continuous drink Would supply you of that share particular it out product, to people? you know, and all of that stuff. That is said, if you didn't use it and you were only paid to, um, and you were only paid to advertise the product, doesn't make any sense. That means we should charge you for what? Uh, what's that Misleading word? Misleading the public. Yeah, is that fraud? I think it might be because fraud. at the end of the, I think it's fraud because you made profit off it. They made profit off it, so it's probably fraud. Yeah, so if you did advert without even testing products or uh, deciding the level of it's intensity of the product. It's an error in the advertising space. Yeah. Yeah. You Fraudulent. are mandated to test whatever products you're speaking on. As long as you are influential or you are a public figure with a large following, whatever products you're putting out there, it should have been through tested conclusions that okay it's bad or it's good and that's why some some brands never just move ahead like they just because once you tell them it's a, give a bad review it, it ends their their it's like it's business. like it's like signing bridget for what now cuban links okay oh, no actually just yeah i was gonna whatever. go for something else but go ahead go ahead just continue like, drive home very, your, very, drive very, home very your strong point whiskey <laughs> you know it's like the new face yeah. of mulumba whiskey <laughs> You know, see Bridget. Making it look pretty, but not tasting it. Dead. That's an error. Yeah. It's an it error. is what it is. You know, you know, so I, I mean, but I don't know why brands would do that or why influencers would do that, but I think that you should stop it. What do you think? Do you think she used it? That's the thing. 
it's a, she's she's claiming she just advertised it. Yeah, but, know, are, but people are saying you can't advertise it? without using and make it, doing, do making it? sure that. What do I think? Yeah. I don't think she used it. How were you the I think that, custodian of? I think that the story of Regina Daniels and Ned started a a long time ago when she was really young. Before she heard about yeah. the Yeah, you get so I don't know, man. <laughs> but we can never. You know, this is it. They're not the writer for face here. They're not the writer say, oh, I used Carl yeah, Matter. Exactly. You will not know when I wear my hair, I wear my lips. Do you know what I've rubbed on my face? Hey. Uh, let's move on. Our next Problem. story, guys. This is from uh, one of our favorite couples. <laughs> Quite <laughs> couples, couples. Will Smith. Uh, Will Smith has just revealed that he considered killing it's his not father. Not our favorite couple, though, please. Yeah, uh, well, he just considered killing his father to avenge his um, mother. Apparently, well, he was growing up. His father was quite a physical, you know, man. He liked to use his fists at will. As a when he feels like, you know, he just turned his wife to a punching bag sometimes. And yeah, Will Smith was a kid then, back nine year old, and he witnessed this. And of course, with the fear of a child, he couldn't do anything. So now that he's old, he, he, he kind of like said that he actually contemplated killing his father, like pushing him up the stairs whilst he was trying to, he was battling cancer and all of that. And at that point in his mind, he was like, okay, let me just let daddy you leave and took him to his room how how do you play this whole situation quincy i think it's early morning tv and i really don't want to air my personal views about anyone who tries to hit my mother yeah <laughs> uh, yeah yeah but let's air your personal views about will smith who thought about killing his father i think that's very <laughs> this is going to sound weird it's not normal but it is almost normal for someone who hits your mom Ideally, especially when it comes to, it's just, I don't know how it is or what it is. As a boy, mm. you're tight with your mom. Yeah. Almost naturally, almost in almost every case, you know? Mm -hmm. And then to see someone hit your mom, it's, <laughs> you don't even shout to my mama. <laughs> you're gone. <laughs> you know? Yeah, so in such a situation, it's, it's, it, it, would, it would really mess you up mm. and... There's that sense of this is from experience. There's that sense of um, sense of grant and stamp that you can do anything if you're in that situation. Trust me, no matter as who that person is, as, as the kid, as the kid, and okay. you see such happening to your mom. Mm. Not, but I've never seen anyone yell at my mom first, first of all. But you know, in such a situation, it's like you have that grant to just do whatever, go on, which is you... wrong, which is wrong. Whatever you can do to get into that situation and make it better, please always try to do, you know. Whenever that's going to happen, make sure you stop it. If you need to get the person counseling, anger management classes, all of that stuff, please do that as often as you can as a very sane, progressive Nigerian. Okay. Well said, Quincy. Swiftly to our next story. Um, um, before we go to the next story, channel any kind of negative energy into something more insightful, something yes. more you know, that you can put all your energy and effort into and ease it out gradually. It's hard, but with constant practice, I think we it would, would work. it will work. Yeah. Um, so our next story, of course, we've all been on social media watching and um, we've read about the, the building that collapsed here in Lagos, Nigeria and killed um, at least over 80 people who are trapped under that allegedly dead because we haven't been able to rescue all of them so they are thinking over 48 hours these guys might have breathed their last one breath um but yeah Deja comes out to say that we need to stop cutting corners i think she's talking about the building in question why a 21 story building would just collapse just like that it means there are things that we're not doing right we're trying to quickly put one or two things together without being sure of the the materials we are using for whatever it is even in nigeria you know you just pay they just do it sharp sharp you know contractors trying to rip off owners of these businesses or buildings just because you want to end some extra box and now it has cost a lot of lives um i don't know what the situation is right now i don't know how we are going to salvage this because it's done but yeah it's really a sad one mm. um so the yeah, these are, I mean, it's okay. 
Um, according to records, it says that uh, they were authorized to have a 15-story building. Mm. And then they built a 21-story building, right? Mm. That's six entire floors, bro. Extra. Extra to the allocated or allotted and agreed Number. creation. Mm. That's more than enough weight, you know, mm. on whatever the foundation is. Then we don't know for sure because I'm, uh, the Lagos State officially commissioned an investigation within, uh, I think, the time frame is about a month. And all the details and all the facts of that situation must come out. Yeah. Sanctions by, by President Samuel the governor. But this is it. The supposed or the alleged owner of this building is not new to having these buildings. Mm -hmm. Apparently, he's had buildings, he's developed buildings in the UK, in the US, yeah. and all these places where you know naturally you have to go through a rigorous process before you can even Erect put a one block. Yeah. Do you understand? So while you're going through all these processes, it's always vetted. Now, we don't know for sure if they actually caught corners because this is a very tall building right there in Ikoi. You can't miss it. It's also the area in which you would find most of the top people around, right? Mm. So was there, were there backdoor handshakes that led from 15 to 21? Possibly. We don't know. Right? We don't know that for a fact. Mm. Yeah? We can all say... The owner of the building is at fault. But did anything transpire behind closed doors that we don't know about? And now that it's out in the open, everyone has to maintain that. I mean, uh, uh, what's his name for housing for Lagos State got suspended? Mm. Immediately. You know? Yeah, but medicine is he after the one? that. Yeah, I, I don't know if he is he the one supposed to take the fall for this. Yeah. It's his division oversees the whole situation. The oh, whole so he direction should be the of the building. One, then after investigation, it's his, the, it's his, it's his, it's his jurisdiction. His jurisdiction. Yeah. yeah. So that aside, but I'm like, it's medicine after death, you know. Let's just keep it sad, though. Like literally after death. Yeah. Let's just hope that the situation is um, put. I mean, the truth is out, and whoever is responsible for this mishap gets the full brunt of the law. Because you can't just, I mean, yes, money talks and mm -mm works. You know what that line? The mentality you know, of cutting corners that in mentality, general is yeah, ridiculous. It's, it's, yeah, it's, yeah, it is, it is. But we know that in some areas, we used to cut corners. Who is we? People cut corners. Yeah, people do. You see? But not area is the area. Not all areas the area you should be cutting corners. You know? No area is right to cut corners. No area is right. I get that. Trust me. I saw a story about... I know that. We know Bridget, that. Bridget, Bridget. Yes. I saw a story about a guy who, um, yeah. who lives in Dubai. Mm. I went to Cross Express. Mm. It sounds normal, right? Yeah, until he got arrested and he had to do, what, two weeks okay. mandated um, uh, the psycho, psychoanalysis and all of that mm. for two weeks. Yes. Because it's not normal for you to Cross Express. You want to kill yourself. <laughs> but it seems normal in this part of the world. Because he says, according to the law enforcer who caught him, says it means something must be wrong for you to just randomly mm. cross. But you see, everyone's looking at me like it's weird. Like, yeah. ah, nobody to cross the express. Cross we don't express. cross them now. Okay, so should There's I share, a whole pedestrian I bridge, a personal bro. personal experience? What, you cross the express? <laughs> I... <laughs> you seem like you still cross the express. <laughs> so, <laughs> I did. I actually crossed an express <coughs> at um, Ojota I, back in the years, like over like seven years ago. And when I immediately I crossed the express, oh, someone single. just held my hand. Just be coming with me like that. They arrested me. Nice. Did they, they just, put you in that? Oh, no, they didn't put me in the cell. I'm not an ex convict, guys. Please. I'm not. I but think that is they... far from the description of being a. An ex-con, but is, is okay. it? But, but, but people don't understand that. People think that once you're arrested, oh, you're released. Oh, you've been arrested, you've been released. You're an ex-convict. Anyways, so <laughs> layman, layman yeah, think that yeah. way. So yeah, I was delayed for a long time, and they were asking me questions why 
you know, I did that. And I was like, I didn't know that I was supposed to. Like, it was, Did you, you know, not see a pedestrian bridge? I mean, bridge? I did. But where the, the bus stops, where you they like stop stress, you, Abby. it's far from there. You get, and then you just, you're thinking, oh, let me just quickly. And then that was the last time I actually And that's crossed, how some people quickly. Yeah, die. You know, you forgot so, that that was the period when you were broke. Yo, I'm careful, and man. If God, you live in Red Lagos God and you can cross the road in Lagos, you can cross the road anywhere in Naichi. No, don't try it in Abuja or Yago. <laughs> Just don't cross the don't road. Don't cross the road. Enter the if pedestrian, pedestrian bridge. If they are pedestrian bridge, please cross them. And like, that was the last time I actually crossed the road because I didn't, if, if I wasn't. And then after then, God now gave you a silver bed job. Your life can't change. Uh, hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> anyway, so uh, that's it for trending. Please follow us on all our social media uh, platforms at Silverbet News 24 and Silverbet TV to keep up being updated on the situation about the story building because we've been following it. Really, you know, we've been following the story from the beginning. In fact, right now, some of our reporters are still there at the site to see what and what they can pull out, what information they can get from the environs and all of that. So please follow us on our social media platforms to be fully updated. It's 24 hours, guys. So free, just 2 MB or something. You'll find the news. All right, we'll go on a short break. Don't forget, it's Throwback Thursday, and we have amazing guests coming through. We'll be right back.